All right, in this video, we're going to sketch the graph of a function that is defined as a piecewise function. And uh, we'll just sort through that. I'm gonna do some side work so that I can get a handle on what's going on here. I'm gonna start off with that first line. And I wanna remind everybody or myself or whoever what y equals x to the third power looks like. And the way I see it is, I think the way I think of it is that when x is positive, it looks like an upward facing parabola. And when x is negative, it looks like a downward facing parabola. And there are some points that we can pay attention to. We know one to the third power is one and negative one to the third power is negative one. And then we have the origin. All right. And then you, we, can always, we can always plot more points, but this is what the graph looks like. And, and actually there's more that we can do to study that when we, when we do more calculus essentially. So, but this is saying, okay, well, what happened? This was looking at the same, this is looking at y equals x cubed minus one. And so when, uh, when we have a graph where we subtract one, our function when we subtract one, that shifts the graph down. So let's see if I just do that without writing and I'll just, you know, you just shift it. It's going to, going to shift it down by one. And then, you know, all these points will shift down also. If I felt that I wanted to do, just to plot those. It's not, I think it's a good idea though, plot those points, so. Um, Did we do it wrong if we only um, put half of, of the graph? Like uh, I only did to the left of the, uh, of the Y axis. No, that's correct. I'm, this is a warm up. This is my okay. side work. My, um, answer's, then... <laughs> my answer's down here, so exactly right that for my final answer, I, 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 it's hard to say where everybody uh, stands on, on knowing things like this and knowing that graph. So like you said, we're only going to, let me just make a circle here. It's X less than zero. So, so um, I'm just going to draw that to the left. Okay, so that, that's, that's the part you know, that I just did in yellow. And then I can go over an orange. I just have, if X is zero, Y is zero. And that's a point at the origin. It's just one point. There, keep in mind that our final answer should, should pass the, the vertical line test because it's a function. And then, well, I wish I had room somehow to figure out. I suppose I can just create another page to talk about the square root function. So just as much as anything else, this is, um, you know, just a, we're, we're, we're practicing sketching graphs. So this is like, you know, review of, of some curve sketching. So I, actually, I'm gonna do this on another page over here. So let me just look at, so this is all side work. So let me look at y equals the square root of x. So that is um, you know, the square root function, right? And uh, we can plot points. I don't think I'm gonna do that on the side of paper. Instead, I'm just gonna, um, you know, just do it sort of my head. Like the square to zero, zero, square to one is one. I go next to four, four is a perfect square. So I pick four, the square to four is two. And then I'll pick nine. If I feel like going that far up, but um, the square to nine is three. Now, the thing is, if I were to square both sides, I get x equals y squared. And what is x equals y squared? Well, x equals y squared is a parabola that opens to the right. Now, this, isn't, this is not that, that graph. This is only the top part of that graph. The top part is y equals the square root of x. The bottom part is y equals negative square root of x. All right, so, but, but I do that because I, I want to point out 
Um, I want to make it just just to to make it clear what this graph looks like. You know that that, that this has that sort of look of a parabola. It's just half of the parabola to the top half. Okay, so that's our our function, and the part I did in dots, I should I should get rid of because that's not that was the that was the part the bottom part was y equals negative rad x. Now, in our problem, we're looking for um, we're looking for something else, radical x plus one, all of it minus two. So let's check that out. Um, y equals radical x plus one minus two. Sorry, I need to one time. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Now what does this do? This this shifts left by one and this is down by two. And of course we can plot points to verify that that's actually the right shifting, you know, whether you're shifting up or down, right or left, you can verify by plotting points. But I, I really think we should, we should think of that, that there is a shift, that's what that does. And then we can come back and verify how that works. But, um, but yeah, this is a shift. So it's going to shift. What did I say? Oh, yeah, left by one down by down by two. And you can, you know, you can verify those points. If you put in negative one, negative one plus one is zero, minus two, that gives this point over here. And putting in um, zero, zero plus one is one, so square root of one minus one makes negative one. And so you can, you can, you know, you can plot all these points and verify that this is what you get. Okay, so what I'm going to do is anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and sketch this on, on this this deal here. So, uh, and um, yeah, this is sort of a tricky problem actually. Since so for this one, I I did um, like your notes. I I did like the the number tree and and plugged in my x coordinates uh, into the equation. Um, yeah. The one thing I was con like I wasn't sure if I was doing right is that. Although the piecewise function said zero if x equals zero, I still plugged in zero for both of my equations just to um, just to be able to graph it better. Um, I didn't know if that was right, but um, it looked it looked like how I wanted it to look, but I wasn't sure if I was just getting lucky or if that was the right thing to do. So mine ended up looking like that, and then. Yeah, I mean, I see your point that it's a tricky problem, but yeah, you can, if you do X and Y, you can put in, well, zero. I mean, you can put in zero into the part I've been in, in that green, the lime green there, put in zero and you get square root of zero plus one. That's the square root of one minus two is negative one. Mm -hmm. That's the point down here, zero, negative one, even though we don't color that in. So, so. Uh, maybe we'll put that one there, but then we can go on to um, uh, another number that would work out well because three plus one is four. So I did um, th uh, three worked out pretty well. Yeah. It was and then you can do eight. Eight plus one is nine, square to nine is three, and then, and then you get minus one there. Um, I mean, there's more work I can show that probably might be better, but. Uh, well, that, that is the answer. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, thank you. Uh, okay, hold on. Is there, oh yeah, now I didn't even, I didn't finish this part though. What's the, what are this part? Okay. Um, I got a goes, negative one for A. Okay, because we've come to the left. Let me switch up colors now. If I go, no, we're going zero from the left. I get negative one. Zero from the right, also oh, negative one. one. So therefore the zero, the limit zero, because you come both sides, I mean the limit's negative one, you come both sides from zero. How about if I have negative one? Um, I put negative one for the next one, yeah. And then D, I put negative two. Yeah. And then and it's three. Zero. I mean, there's no jumps. Well, there is the only thing there's that hole in the graph, but otherwise. 
you can find the limit by just yeah, you just draw those little arrows. Okay. Okay. Um, so. Professor, can I ask a question about it? Yes. Um, so I think because uh, um, f is equal to it's, uh, three minus one, is that wrong? It's um, smaller than zero. And then uh, the last equation is it's uh, bigger than zero. So I think that you uh, 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 cut the graph from uh, is zero through three, right? Yeah, you're cutting out a little bit, but what, what are you asking? You, you, you don't want to put in eight? Uh, because of C, I think it's uh, at least um, because, uh, because when you look at the the first equation is uh, three minus one, it say if it's smaller than zero. So you just uh, draw the, the, the left-hand side of the graph. Is the is smaller than zero? Yes. Less than zero. Like this part here is less uh, x less than zero or x less than zero. And this part is x greater than zero. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. sorry, I your 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 Thank sound's you. cutting out a little, so I don't know why that is, but your sound's cutting out, so I couldn't quite hear. But I hope that helps. Oh. all right, I'm gonna um yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, no, that's totally fine. Um, I'm gonna 